students, we had a great week two during which we addressed some prerequisite skills as well as academic expectations to help you all be successful learners digitally this year. Again, the agenda is on the left, and don't say the first thing that pops into your head. Have a bit of a self-edit function. That's good for life. President Obama. We took about five minutes to work out these problems in our math journals. For the first three problems, two vertices are given for a figure with some additional information to help you graph and label the remaining vertices. I also showed how to graph figures on the coordinate plane if you don't have graph paper. The eight problems on the bottom consisted of a review on adding negative integers, and I showed you several methods to help you conceptualize the operation and its result, using the number line, using counters, and considering the absolute value of each of the integers to determine whether the answer would be positive or negative. Using scholastic math, we briefly read an article about Earth's starring role in the Star Wars movies and how each of the filming locations could be described using coordinates just like the ordered pairs on a coordinate plane. You are tasked with finishing the article and reviewing the video about longitudinal and latitudinal coordinates to locate various places around the globe. What are the coordinates for where you live? At the beginning of each module, I will provide an overview of what we are learning and the pacing guide to outline how long we will focus on that particular idea. It includes important academic vocabulary we will be using throughout the module, as well as the learning targets, which are content standards expressed in student-friendly language. This module focuses on geometry standards related to rigid transformations, translations, reflections, and rotations. Students extend their reasoning of figures and their orientations to the coordinate plane using physical models, geometry tools, and digital software. Students will expand their academic vocabulary to describe properties of their sides and angles under rigid motions. The informal arguments and reasoning students develop to verify these properties will be further used in the next module on similarity and dilations. Next, we went to BrainPop to watch a brief review of the key components of the coordinate plane and how to graph ordered pairs. You are tasked with self-assessing using the quick quiz located next to the video. Who is the famous mathematician represented in the video? While a more detailed version of the grading rubric is uploaded to your class resources on CTLS Learn, this shows an overview of both how you will be evaluated on mastering your learning targets and how you will be asked to evaluate your self-confidence as we progress through the content. Please take note of the percentage equivalence for each of the numbers between 1 and 4. A score lower than a 1 usually means that there is not enough evidence on the student artifact to indicate any relatable knowledge to the content or its prerequisite skills. The assignment that you need to complete by the end of this week is the math inventory, which assesses your current strengths and weaknesses on math content from previous years as well as content that you will be learning this year. As you can see, the scoring table has four bands which align with the way I grade. By the end of 8th grade, your aim is to achieve a proficiency score in the range of 1,001 and 10,089. Excuse me, 1,089. To the best you can add, do the best you can as the results will help better guide how I teach and what you learn this year so that we are maximizing our opportunities to succeed in this digital learning environment. So as a reminder, the required assignment to be completed for the next week is the math inventory. The directions for which can be found under this week's session under the Class Assignments tab. A recommended activity is to develop your vocabulary flashcards using the academic vocabulary found on your overview handout. Be here, be ready, and be respectful, and you will be great at Griffin. And as our wonderful principal states in her daily homeroom address, in a world where you can be anything, be kind.